I'm going to show a short video. Uh, I hope you guys will see the relevance by the end of it. If not, just I'll explain the relevance at the end if anybody still doesn't get it. Um, it's just whatever the front ones will work out. serious portion of my speech, I'd like to give a little bit of my background. Uh, my name is Matthew Musgrave, I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii, and well, I've, I've been very fortunate to grow up on the beautiful island of Oahu, and you know, being that it's Hawaii, I spent a lot of my childhood on the beach, um, at the beach and on the ocean. Uh, in my early teen years, I got the opportunity to volunteer at the Honolulu Zoo uh, at the education department. I, um, you know, I help take care of kids uh, while on animal encounters and, uh, and uh, you know, in classroom activities. I've also been very fortunate to travel a lot. I've been to Cairns, uh, Australia, um, and the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, a couple years ago, my family and I uh, cruised the San Juan Islands in a little houseboat. This is a picture of a dogfish. It's a sort of a smaller shark my brother caught. Yes, we did catch and release. Um, and more recently, I got to go to American Samoa with my dad, who had to go there on business. So undoubtedly, all these experiences have really made me develop a love for nature and the ocean. Uh, so my sophomore year of high school, I took a marine biology and oceanography class. And that brought a very important uh, issue to my mind, and, or an issue up to me, and that was about shark fin. OK, so first, some background. What is shark fin? Shark finning is the, process, uh, is the process of removing both the dorsal and pectoral um, dorsal and pectoral fins from a shark, usually while it is still, uh, still alive and the shark is thrown back into the ocean, of course still alive, um, to die either due to blood loss or suffocation. Uh, they die due to suffocation because sharks you know, need their fins to swim stably and in order to breathe they have to you know, swim, water has to pass over their lungs etc. if that makes any sense at all. So, okay, so what are the facts behind shark finning? It's estimated that about 100 million sharks a year are, um, are killed for their fins. A study in 2007 uh, showed that there's been a 90% decline in sharks, um, in shark populations worldwide, and uh, more specifically, um, uh, the country uh, Mozambique in South Africa has seen such high levels of shark finning that uh, they uh, they have they've had a 93 percent decline in their shark population. Um, after they after the uh, Mozambican you know remove the fins and export them uh, you know for money or you know uh, commerce I suppose um, they often eat the shark meat but uh, more than not suffer from uh, methylmercury poisoning from the shark meat. So plainly this practice isn't healthy at all for humans, the environment, or the sharks. So at this point, um, with such high levels of shark finning, you're probably wondering, you know, what are the shark fins used for? Um, there's two primary 
uh, well, there's, there's uh, the primary use is for shark fin soup. Out uh, of reading a lot of online testimony and looking over a lot of re recipes, in my personal opinion, uh, shark, you know, really what are you eating when you eat shark fin soup? It's cartilage, and they use a lot of additives such as beef, uh, beef based the broth, and other things to make the soup actually taste like it. It's a delicacy commonly found in many Asian countries. Um, the secondary use, uh, the picture can show up. Uh, the secondary use is, um, well, well, some of the more traditional uses for the medicine, I'm not sure about. A book published in 1992 popularized the idea that um, powdered shark, um, shark fin or like shark cartilage could help to prevent, cure, and or treat cancer. Uh, however, this sounds like a fairly silly idea. Um, but the idea was, uh, this was thought, but, sorry, um, this idea came about because, you know, uh, the idea was that sharks can't get cancer because their, you know, their uh, bone structure is made out of cartilage. However, a report published in 2000 by the George Washington University uh, Medical Center in Washington, uh, D.C. has in fact um, documented tumors in sharks and a report from a cancer research center in the United Kingdom uh, does not recommend any sort of cartilage powder as a cancer treatment, or does, uh, nor does any scientific or medical evidence um, show that it uh, at all helps. Okay, so why should you care about shark finning? Well, it's a cruel practice. The fins are often removed while the shark is still alive. It's a wasteful practice. More than often, the shark is thrown back um, the rest of the shark is thrown back, the carcass isn't used for anything, um, and it's harmful to the environment. Um, sharks are slow to mature, and they do not reproduce in great numbers. Um, and the removal of a top predator in a food web, off, um, more often than not, causes uh, the reproduction of an ecosystem to grow out of balance and out of control. So, so what's being done? Uh, back in 2009, um, billboards were set up in China, $100 could buy two billboards, and they featured a picture of uh, Yao Ming, one of China's very famous and influential citizens, he's a basketball star, which I'm sure some of you probably know. Um, the, uh, the billboards were up for about three months, and after that, uh, a, a poll of the population was taken. Um, sadly, only 19% of the people polled remembered seeing, um, uh, seeing any of these billboards. However, out of that 19%, 82% said that they would either decrease or stop eating shark fin soup because of uh, having seen the billboards. So plainly, this has some sort of effect. Uh, nation oh, sorry. Uh, nationally, um, Hawaii, for, uh, Hawaii is a leading example in advocating for anti-shark finning. As of July 1st, uh, 2011, it's illegal to have shark fins in Hawaii. Um, residents caught selling shark fins um, can suffer, oh, sorry, restaurants caught selling shark fins can suffer a first offense of $5,000 to $15,000 and a third offense of $35,000 to $50,000 and up to a year in jail. Uh, Amer uh, the U.S. does have anti-shark finning laws, uh, however, we don't have an all-out ban. While American vessels uh, cannot bring, uh, well, Amer U.S. registered vessels cannot bring in shark fins. Non-U.S. registered vessels are still allowed to do this with the accompanying carcasses. This, of course, helps decrease the amounts because fishermen are not able to, you know, yes, size-wise versus you know the hull of the ship. You know, you can't catch so many sharks um, because of, like storage within the hull of the ship. Um, so, what can you do? I've created an online petition that uh, has a requirement for 25,000 signatures. While this is a very high number, if, I can, if we can get all these signatures by March 31st, the Obama administration will personally look and take into account what we have to say. Uh, I'd like to ask you all to take about five minutes um, to sign this petition. It's very quick, it's simple. You do have to make an account, but it's a one-time use thing unless you choose to sign up for a permanent account. Um, and together we can be the cause of change, and it's as simple as putting down your name. Thank you. Would you um, be sure to take out a sheet of paper and format right?